You glorify your name. God have your way in this service. You know what each one needs in this house. Touch God for your boy. We're going to praise you. Give you honor for all you're doing and what you're going to do. In Jesus' mighty name, as you Lord. Touch the little packet, set it down. Let it be for your glory. In Jesus' name. I'm laid on the
I've seen the change, but I won't even start. Yeah, yeah. Man, that's like a member of these days. Yeah, that's good. Anyone else? Remember uh, mom, bro, Jim. I don't know what's going on. They had it online there, but uh, she knew prior. They kicked me in, dog. I don't know. Glad it's tough. Glad it's tough. I remember she was so old. Lord, they were tough. And I thank her. Problems are getting worse all the time. 
Lord, they were about to do it better than I can, but you know, there's one thing for sure, no matter what the situation yes. or what we go through, there's right. one thing for sure. Yes. He's always God. Yes, he is. Always yes, God. he is. Amen. Life is easy when you're up on the mountain and you've got peace of mind like you never know. Things can change
every day with this nation's in trouble. Yes. There's trouble on every hand. Yes. And we can say, man, Amen. my only hope for peace to survive over the steam is in the Lord. Yes. And if I got Jesus, I got what the world needs. <laughs> and we can say, man, a cord. Thank God I've been sealed, sealed in the day of redemption. One day Jesus will come and take us away. But he's still the healer. Amen. Amen. I was taking that song that they sung. I, I found a lily in the valley. Yes. That kind of goes along with a little bit what I'm going to talk about the next little bit. I found a treasure, Brother Larry, in Jesus that I didn't find in this world. Right. Amen. Amen. Turn your Bible to uh, Matthew chapter 6. Amen. I'll I tell you what, I, I really feel good. I feel stirred. Somebody's going to get touched. 
Somebody's already got to say amen. 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 Matthew chapter 6. Starting at verse 19. I'll hurry. It won't be too long. It's the Lord's will. And listen to what Jesus said. Matthew chapter 6, starting at the 19th verse. Somebody said, I've heard that preach before where it never gets old. That's right, if it gets old to you, you need to come to the altar and get right with God. Amen. His word is always refreshing. Yes. Let me just say amen. amen. I said his word is always refreshing. Have me please that. Have me please that's the truth. Amen. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I praise you. I thank you, God, for what you've already done, what you're going to do. Give me words of wisdom, power, and authority, God, to speak to your people. And I praise you, Lord, bless them, the least to the greatest in here. And we love you, Lord. And we know, God, if there's one here that don't know you like they should know you, they can leave here happier than they've ever been in a long time. Because, Jesus, you're my treasure. <laughs> Lord, you're my lily in that valley. I praise you, Jesus. Bless your name. Can somebody say in Jesus' name? In Jesus' name. Look what Jesus said. Just starting at the 19th verse. He said, Lay not up for yourself treasures upon the earth, upon earth, where moth and rust do corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourself treasures where? Yeah. Where? Yeah. In heaven, where neither moth nor rust does corrupt, and where thieves do not break through and steal. For listen to this, for where your treasure is, it's, that's the truest sentence I've read in a long time. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Can somebody say amen? amen. Come on, can somebody say amen? I got three more verses. But if thy eye be evil, the the whole body shall be full of darkness. I mean sin. If there, therefore, if the therefore the light that is in thee be darkened, how greater is that darkness? How great is that darkness? No man, and that means no woman, can serve two masters, for either he will hate one, hate the one, and love the other, or else he will hold to the one. And despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. That means earthly treasures. Therefore I say unto you. Listen to this. Take no thought for your life. What ye shall eat. Or what ye shall drink. Not yet for your, not yet for your body. What ye shall put on. Listen church. Is not the life more than meat. That means food. And the body more than raiment. Jesus let us hear what the word saying to the church. In Jesus' name. If you didn't want to be seated, you can't be. But how many remembers the little woman in the Bible? That she she found out that there was a treasure in a certain field, Brother Larry. And she sold everything that she had. She got every, rid of everything she had. That, that would hold her back. She knows somewhere in that field, if she purchased that field, there was a treasure in that field. I got news for you tonight and see the all I feel him in, that I found the treasure. And he's that lily that was in that valley. He's that Friday morning star when it seems like all of hell is breaking loose and coming again, your spirit. I found the treasure, Brother Steve, that's going to keep us until we behold him on the clouds. Somebody said, Brother Paul, we don't believe Jesus is coming. Honey, that still don't change what the word says. The Bible said this same Jesus, they saw taken up in the clouds, shall return in like manner. It's a time is getting very close. If you don't know God like you should know Him, you better get all the God you can get today. You don't know what tomorrow holds. Don't worry about meat or raiment or clothes to put on. Don't worry about a place to lay your head. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And all these other things, Brother Bob, He promised He would add unto 
me. You know what the church world is getting hung up at? They're getting hung up on their tomorrows. They're getting hung up on their todays. But I'm going to tell you, I felt a lily in the valley. It's going to be a lily tomorrow. I found a treasure. Listen to me, church. I found something that's going to keep me when the devil says it's all over. When the devil says there's no need to go to church no more. I found in the word of God, he said, Brother Roger, I'll be with you. I'll walk before you. I'll keep you in the valley. I'll be that lily in the valley to you. I'll be that Friday morning star. I'll be whatever you need me to be out there. If you need a father figure, I'll be your father figure. If you need a mother figure, I'll be your mother figure. If you need a sister or brother figure, I'm right there. That's what the Lord's saying. He's telling us today to get a hold of that word. And put the Bible stand on that word. When hell is crashing in, whenever things go wrong, you've got that lily inside of you. You've got that earth treasure inside of you. That Jesus said, I've sealed you to the day of redemption. I put myself in you. The pillar of Christ in you, the hope of glory. I've sealed you to the day of redemption. We're the only one, Brother Bob, that can break the seal of God. We're the only one that can break that seal. And he's put up This little woman, she sold everything she had and went and purchased this field. Have you noticed, how many have ever been on a treasure hunt before? Come on. I know you didn't that for a long. How many been on a treasure hunt? You may have lost something around the house. A valuable to you and you misplaced it and you're trying to find it. You, you got your mind focused on that treasure. Wow. Where in the world could I put that that ring or that watch or, or that phone? Where did I put it at? Listen to me. Your mind has to be focused on a treasure before you can find it. I'm going to try to take my time if I can. Jesus said... They sang that song, and I love that song. He is that lily in the valley. Yes. What well, the valley he's talking about? You know, it's easy, as the song says, to have faith when you're on top of that mountain. Yeah. You ain't sick, the cupboard's full of gas, car's full of gas, and everybody's well. Who couldn't shout the victory? Yeah. Who couldn't pat your hands and praise God? Yeah. Who couldn't live for God then? But honey, get the sun as you come down off of that mountain back down into the heat of the battle, into the valley. You've got to have a spiritual mind if you're going to see that lily in the valley. It's not talking about a natural lily. It's not talking about a flower growing down in your valley. It's talking about Jesus being there. He's the lily of our life. He's the lily of that valley. He's the bright and morning star. He's with me on the mountain. He's with me in the valley. He's with me when I fight in hell. He's with me when I hate fighting hell. Can somebody say, man? We're glory. When I feel a revival coming, it's going to shake the ground to fill this building. Somebody said, y'all crazy up on that hill. Just leave me alone. I'm crazy with Jesus. Nobody in here has to die lost. Listen to me. I'm serious. I feel this. Your life may be messed up and hell has got it all tangled up. And you don't know really what to do in your mind. He's the lily in that valley that you're in. Oh, I feel Jesus. He sealed the Christians with the Holy Ghost, them that has the Holy Ghost. And Paul is the only one can break that seal that's up on my life. You're the only. You can't break a seal on my life. A lot of people says, well, I'd go to church if they hadn't said something about me. If they had to done this or done that. You know, the devil knows them tricks. And he knows the very thing that gets you out of church. Jesus said they hated me, and they're going to hate you just like they did me. They're going to hate you for my name's sake. Because you're a Jesus person, the devil already magically hates you. How big is say, man? He don't want you to go to church. He don't want us to go to church. But I'm telling you something, Sister Stella. We've been having visions and dreams about mega crowns. I'm not doing it for the crown, but I mean it for what God wants me to do. Honey, they're going to get off the bed. They're going to get jump out of the wheelchairs. God have mercy. A great 
thing is coming. Hold on. We, listen, church. If you want God to move for you, Jesus. now listen. Don't let what you want God to do for you be your priority to control your prayer and put you in a place that pause all that matters. I, I feel this. And so many is being robbed of God by the devil. Because it's me. It's me, Lord. Stop worrying about you and what you want. And say, Lord, it's not me. It's my brother. It's my sister. And honey, when you begin to pray like that, all of hell is going to back up. Because God's putting a spirit of authority in you that you can look the devil in the face and walk over me and keep it going in the name of Jesus. The devil wants you to sit down and whine. Oh, Paul's problem. Paul's problem. Paul's trouble. Paul's down, Paul. I wish everybody could hear me. You cannot do something great for God if you're hung up on self. Self will cause you to miss the will of God. Self is designed for the Adam nature fall. And that flesh man or that flesh woman will lead you in a direction that will cause you to be robbed of what God's got for you. Can somebody say amen? I'm going to be like old Job was. I know we preach about him a lot. He never lost his integrity. He never lost his respect for God. And all that he lost. I, nobody's never come with a mom and told me, uh, Paul, Brother Paul, your three children are dead. They never come to me and said, Paul, one of your kids just died. You just lost what you got. Honey, Job was a wealthy man in his day. And he trusted God. That's what we got to get. Trust God. Not just when you're in the heat of the battle. When you're back on the mountaintop. Somebody else needs delivered out of their valley. We need to get to the place uh, that somebody else's need matters more to God than your own need. Yes. Yes. Where glory, I feel Jesus at the time. When, when you begin to put yourself on the altar, I found out here lately, church, and I've been praying, Lord, I just want to thank you and move for my brothers and sisters. Listen, church, when we begin to put ourselves upon the altar, so to speak, Lord, here's what I need this week. I've been praying six months, God, and it ain't never happened. Well, keep pray, quit praying for your need and get somebody else in a worse need than you got. And you start praying for them and you watch God turn that thing around. Come on, can you hear what I'm saying? If you are your brother or sister's keeper, naturally I don't want to be sick. Naturally I don't want to go through these trials that my mind has put me through. But myself, I'm not praying for myself all the time. I pray for the church. My brother, my sister. And brother Bob, when we can see their needs and put them before God. First thing you're going to know, you're going to turn around. Well, all this stuff is gone now, my ladies. Yes. Oh, well, them little ladies is doing real good. That thing don't hurt like it used to. First time you know, you say, man, something's happened to my disc back here. Ha ba ba sha ba ha. Something's happened to my leg, Lord, it don't hurt like it did. You know why? When you get your focus, i got to take my time with this just a minute. When you get your focus off yourself, yes, yes. somebody say, Lord, help me Lord, Lord, to see my brother and sister's needs. We all got needs. But when I pray for Brother Bob's need, when I pray for these brothers' needs, I'm a dis listen, church. I'm just causing Jesus to get up off the throne, Brother Sam. And he's going to touch me and restore what he said he would do. I wish somebody could hear me. 
It's easy to pat yourself on the on the head and stroke yourself on the shoulder. Lord, it's me. Look at me, Lord. I'm I'm, I'm so down in the valley. I just I, I'm not like, like the prophet. I'm the only one left, Lord. See, the prophet got a cry baby spirit on him. Ran from Jezebel. Kill yourself. Plus, God I ain't a hot for no Jezebel. You hear me? I feel Jesus. He don't want you to hide from the devil. He wants us for the right to stand bold. And look our problems right in the face. And look hell in the face and say, Devil, greater is he that's in us. Then he that's in the world. Oh, Brother Paul, you don't know. I've had a time this week. I'm 50 now. I just hate to hear a testimony like that. I got up this morning. I was feeling bad. And I stumped my toe. And I fell on the floor. Yes, what yes. good is that going to edify the church? That's true. I cried half the night. I got a bad phone call. Somebody cussed me on the phone. I cried, baby, you need to grow up. Amen. 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 Nobody's going to be persecuted like our Lord was. Paul and him, the apostles said, count it all joy when we suffer for the name of Jesus. What do you think you suffer so much for? You're going up down this hill, this Jesus church. Or you can go to some of these other tadpole churches and he wouldn't even bother you. Because he's already got them. But when you get realizing that you're getting in Jesus and you're getting in Jesus deeper, yes. some of your friends is going to back away yes. because you begin to act strange. Yes. You begin to do things that they don't do. Yes. But I got news for the church world. Honey, I'm going deeper in Jesus than I have ever been since this time. And I believe this year, hallelujah, before the summer's over, you're going to hear miracles happen. People ain't going believe the things that's fixing to come to pass. He shut the higher. Ain't gonna believe the things that's happening. All I can tell them is come and see. See that little man in the Bible that was blind that Jesus healed. People wouldn't believe it. This can't be him. He's not the one that was blind. They wouldn't believe it. Some of them would believe it. Brother Bobby to his parents said, yeah, that's my boy. He's paraphrasing this. Yeah, that's my son. He was blind, born blind. And that man, Jesus, <laughs> prayed for him and he began to see. I want to see these deep things. I will, I promise you, I will see these deep things of God happening. And some of them's going to happen before this summer's over. Mark it down on the calendar. We're going to see cancers heal like we have never seen it. Somebody said, Brother Paul, can God really heal the cancer? Well, if he can heal a brain tumor, if he can heal stomach problems, he can heal nerve problems, and he can heal your body, he can heal the, the cancer, no matter what it is. I'm going to tell you how you get your miracle by obeying the man of God. Yes. Obeying what God's instructions is for you. Yes. Yes. See, how many of Let me get this on. I'm trying to, trying to get that. I'll never get it off. How many members the fellow that was prayed for that they asked Jesus the question, who sinned? Was it him or his parents? Neither one of them had sinned. Can you hear me? Because you're sick, the devil's afflicted you. That don't mean you've sinned. That's a trick of the devil. The devil's a two-faced liar. He can't tell you the truth. He afflicted you because there's something in you that's got potential of great coming forth for God. And he knows if he can hinder your faith, he will hinder your walk. God, what a mess. I ain't got time to get on that. If he can hinder your faith, Brother Bobby, he can hinder your walk. It's easy to talk it, but it's another thing what their doors are want to walk. And that's the people Jesus come through that's went through hell. That's fit the devil, the demons, and these little pimpy spirits around. How did the world fall of the devil? And 
God is in Tennessee. He's in Alabama. He's in West Virginia. He's in Virginia. He's in Kentucky. I don't care where you go, God is there. Can somebody say man? People say, well, I went to a strange state and it was so strange, but God was there. Can you hear me? We have to recognize this. God is with us wherever we may be. Yeah, hallelujah. I can't help it. Many people in the Bible. The Bible says the books couldn't hold the things that Jesus done. Read that in your Bible. Jesus left us an example. Three and a half, uh, three and a half years. His ministry for us to follow. He placed himself inside of us, Brother Larry. Through the anointing called the Holy Ghost. Christ in us, the hope of glory. This is why we're different, Brother Bob. We may wear the same old clothes if we if we indecent, as long as everything's in, in order. We may drive the same old car. Can you hear me? <laughs> May live in the same old house. But there's been a change inside. Christ in us, the hope of glory. He's there when you're in the heat of the battle. He's there down in that valley just looking for that lily because he's right there. God, I feel him. Church, I want to encourage you. I'm not trying to hurry. That God don't give up. Let me get one more verse 25 right quick. I don't know if I read either or not, but I'm going to read it again. 25. Therefore I say unto you, this is the Lord talking to the church. Take no thought. Boy, that's pretty tough, ain't it? Take no thought for your life. What ye shall eat. Oh God, I'm going to start the left, but I'm going to get a happy meal. Ye <laughs> shall eat or what ye shall drink. No, yet for your body. What ye shall put on. Is not. I want you to grab this little bit of the last part of the scripture. It's not the life more than meat. In a body more than raiment. I'm going to tell you something. Now this is going to hit hard. It's going to hit real hard. You got your hard toes shoes on today? When I ask God. To move for my needs. That's a sign I'm doubting. Well, I got you looking now. You ain't smiling now. <laughs> I'm not talking about you giving a request but when my needs come priority to my prayer I'm done God he said there's barrels he sees everyone that falls the birds don't plant and harvest and put in the barn brother Larry he takes care of them well, Brother Jim, I believe it was preached on Elijah. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, what we're going to do, Brother Paul, it's going to get bad. They're saying that's going to be a war. Jesus said there will be wars and rumors of wars. That's what the Word said. Man of God, when the famine was there, God sustained him. Three and a half years, this, this drought covered the nation. And the Lord told us to go down by the brook. Jesus. If that been some of us and the brook dried up, we'd backslid. Man. Are you hearing me? But see, God had a plan, Brother Roger. Down the road, there's somebody he already had spoke to. In our lives, I'm trying to hurry. You may be seeking God for certain things. God's already working on the other end. Yes, yes. Can you hear I feel yes. 
Yeah. It don't matter if it's the judge, the man in the party. God's will will prevail. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care if Abraham Lincoln was sitting in the jewel seat. God's will will prevail. Not my will, Lord, but thy will. Hallelujah. And we need to realize, church, put somebody else first. Put your request second. And watch God move and break spells and break hopes on hell. Help me can hear me. I said, help me can hear me. Church, I want to encourage you. You know, sometimes we have to encourage ourselves. Yes, we do. Somebody said, well, I, if I get a hold of the preacher of the church, somebody pray for me, it'll be all right. Greater is he to tend you. Amen. There'll be times you won't get a hold of the church family. Times you won't get a hold of the pastor. Right, right. And sometimes God designed that, Brother Larry, so you would put him out in front of you. Put him out in front of your prayer. Because the same power lives in me. Yes. Lives in you if you got the Holy Ghost. Right. How many can say amen? Well, Bob, he wants to use this. I'm telling you what this. Yes. The Lord's been flooding these dreams and visions. People seeing these things. Just ahead of us is fixing yes. to come. Yes. I'm telling you what, I saw four to five hundred people. Somebody said, you're the crazy. Watch out. Watch when it happens. Honey, there was, there was people, the, the big old building couldn't hold them off with a chain. And they were still coming through the door. One against the other, not because of Paul. But I, I believe God's going to show his power. And he's anointing in this last day. People has prayed and seek God for this great move. And I believe Sister Sally, when we're getting ready to walk in the pool of seven, when the cripple's going to walk, when the blind's going to see, when the devil's is going to speak, and the devil is going to come out. Yes. I'm not satisfied this, with the original one in the church. I'm not content, Sister Stella, with what the church had 15 years ago. I want to see this deepness of God's walk. Dear God, I feel Him. And I want to tell you what, there's nothing too hard for her God. Somebody say that. There's nothing too hard for her if he done it once, he'll do it again. Let that rule your mind and your thoughts. Don't sit. You know, sometimes. I thought myself doing When you beat the house by yourself, sometimes you sit there and you get to thinking. And first thing you know, you just you boo hooing yourself. I refuse sitting at that level. I'm above that stuff. Amen. Brother Bob, we're above that stuff. We're, we're greater than their problems. Yes. Oh, Brother Paul, you don't understand. I don't have to understand. I don't even have to know. Because he knows. Amen. Father, I praise you. And I thank you, Lord, for all that you've already done this for. Help us, God, to be obedient. Be that servant of what you do to the end. God, for 20 units lost, their heart ain't really the place it needs to be with you, Lord. God, deal with them, Jesus. It could be a brand new day for the rest of their life. Pray, God, to touch them that's sick. Touch them that's broken hearted. Minds troubled. Touch Jesus. In your great name. I'm going to get them to give us a song and anybody needs prayer. If you need to pray for you and you're lost. Jesus got everything you need. Give me nine Lord Jesus, I command this little girl to come to you.
I curse you, devil. You're a liar in the name of Jesus. She's going to feel peace when she leaves this house today. Yes, God! You don't need to listen to what's talking here in a dream. You think God has got nothing for you to do? But God's got something in here. This is why hell is fighting you. He don't want you to pray for him. Pray for the sick. I said, I feel Jesus. I said, I feel Jesus. Amen. I believe God's touching this smother that you have a problem with. Somebody say devil. Enough is enough. Somebody say devil. Hear me well. Thank mm-hmm. you. 